state we're in? Yep. I want to know. It's called New Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah, New Mexico. We're not in Texas anymore. This is a type of landscape I've never seen before. Can you take your finger out of your nose? We're in New Mexico. I'm surprised at how much I like it here. I, I, I haven't really thought about the desert as a place that I wanted to be, but there's something really calming about being here. Michael got a pot of water boiling. It's about to be sunset, so we'll have dinner. There's some picnic tables over there, and we can have dinner while we watch the sunset over those mountains. We've been eating a lot of pasta because it seems to be one of the easiest things to cook. Oh, I finally broke out my Instant Pot and I was ready to get going and started with it. And I was so excited. And it turns out I didn't pack the power cord. So I have the whole Instant Pot, the top and everything. It, it fits, like, it just fits under the sink. <laughs> Did you hurt yourself? So I have the Instant Pot basically taking up a whole cabinet underneath the sink. And I was all gung-ho to try it. So I've been making a lot of pasta. I make rigatoni with turkey bolognese. I make mac and cheese. I make spaghetti. I make pesto pasta with sausages. I hear some kind of funny noise, like maybe a frog or something. You hear it? No, it's probably a bird. Well, we were planning on just staying at another Walmart again because we're just trying to move through Texas, but the girls were being really good and both of us were okay with driving longer, so we decided to just keep going and try to get to New Mexico. We were gonna meet at a Walmart because there was one that allowed overnight parking. I figured we'd both be really tired once we finally got to New Mexico, but Michael got there an hour before us and so he went online to see if there were state parks around there and he found this state park and so he called to see if there was a spot open and the guy said, yeah, there's a spot in overflow. And he said, is it nice? And the guy said, the whole park's nice. But it's we, we don't have as big of a site to ourselves. We're kind of sharing a site with two other people. I love it. But I feel so lucky to be able to come here last minute like this because the ranger said that it books two months in advance and you're allowed to stay here 14 nights in a row. Apparently most people do that. They book it and then they stay for 14 nights because it's just so nice here. Well, Michael says he doesn't see any reason to hook up to electric or water while we're here. I think we'll be here two nights because we've got all this battery. We've got a bunch of water in the tank. So I think we're not gonna bother. I don't know if they have a bathhouse here, but if they do, I plan to take a shower there. A long hot shower. I shouldn't get too excited because they might not have one. Let's go take the secret adventure stairs. Papa. Papa. All of it announces Papa every time she sees him now. She goes, Dada. That's how she says Papa. When I was researching a next destination, I came across uh, an age restricted park for the first time where you have to be 55. Apparently, that's a thing we're going to encounter the more west we go. I hadn't encountered it yet, so that's something new. What if we put all our edges together? <laughs> this morning we walked around the campground looking for gems. We're on our way to a trail where there's supposed to be some beautiful rocks to pick up and collect. Lyndon calls them gems. There's a little statue in the middle of the campground showing what kind of gems have been found in the area. And there's red and blue and purple and green gems. Do you want to see the examples? Yeah. Okay, I'll have to lift you up there. So Lyndon and Maple both brought a cup and we went gem hunting. Oh, they're very pretty. Those are examples of rocks we can search for. Mom, I'm going to choose this rock. That's very beautiful. And Maple's going to choose um, this red rock. That's beautiful Maple, too. Maple, I'm going to choose this silver rock. Let's go find it. Lyndon was stuck on finding a silver one, and we didn't find a silver one. Where's the gems, Mom? We have to search for the gems. They're in the ground with all the rocks. What'd you find, Lyndon? Purple. Show me. It's a purple one. Purple one. Found a purple gem? Yeah, I found a purple one. Did you put it in your cup? Yeah. I love Papa. I know. I'm pretty comfortable here. I could stay here longer. We don't have sewer and we didn't bother hooking up electric. So it was a little bit hot today. Not too hot to the point where we decided to plug into electric, but hot enough to get out the fan. The best way to describe this place is calming. It's very serene. It's very quiet and it's been a, the perfect place to decompress from the chaos and party of the 
full-time families event that we were at last week. The first evening, the kids were playing outside and they both came in screaming. And I thought that like usual, they were fighting over a stick, which happens all the time, but they weren't fighting over a stick. It was because they both fell into a cactus. So we spent the first evening with the tweezers plucking out cac... What are those things called? Cacti spines. How did you get a cactus spine on your knee? That's goofy. I think we got it. Yeah. Baba, I never seen a dried out owie. <laughs> I have a dried out scratch. It's healing. How many cactus spines did I pick out of your hands? Um, today. Eleven. That's right, eleven. How about your feet? Lyndon found a cockroach in the airstream. She spotted it from across the room. She's a really good spotter. And the cockroach was huge. It was giant. <laughs> I jumped up on the couch and Papa got a cup and, and trapped the cockroach in a cup. And then Michael went and set it free way outside. I made him go way, 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 way outside. So that was our biggest excitement in New Mexico. I couldn't believe how big that thing was. I'll tell you guys a little bit about our morning routine. The most important thing in my morning is coffee. And that's the first thing in my morning too. That's my favorite part about our morning routine is that Michael gets up and makes coffee and makes me coffee. <laughs> he makes coffee for both of us, but it's important to me because it gets delivered to me. So I wake up and I have a cup of coffee and that's how I get to start my day and I love it. I drink it in this Yeti. It really does stay warm for hours so I can just have a little and then close this and then come back and have more two hours later and it's still hot. So I love this Yeti. I lost one already when we were in Alabama and I had to quickly order a new one. So I wish I caught this on video, but all I had to do was punch in my number and then literally the box opened with my Yeti cup in there. Because it's probably the, my biggest ritual right now is my morning coffee. You know, because every couple of days we're somewhere new. We don't have constants like you do in normal life. So the rituals that I do have are really important to me and coffee's one of them. And then we come out to the living room. All three girls come out. Usually it's Lyndon or, and or Olive first and then Maple a half hour later. She likes to sleep in. But I do butt service. That means I get everyone's diapers and butts figured out so everyone's fresh and clean. And then we watch Daniel Tiger and Lyndon and Maple both have cereal. Maple has the high table, Lyndon has the lower table. Oh, that's why Maple spilled all over today, because they swapped. I was thinking, did Maple forget how to eat? But it's because the tables are at different heights. Okay. At least there's a reason why she regressed in her cereal skills. And then I give Olive a little cup of dry Cheerios. She's not ready to eat cereal yet. What do you need? Some Cheerios in a cup? Usually I get on my phone and check some emails and social media and stuff just to ease into the day while I'm drinking coffee. And eventually I figure out what we're gonna do for the day. The other reason I love mornings is because we have Michael completely to ourselves. Squeeze and bite. Like a boa constrictor is a snake that is really big and it wraps around ah. you and squeezes. And then eats you. Mm, that's a goofy one. <laughs> yeah. I never want to do that. No, yeah, you never wanted me to let's go. Let's never do that one. Mornings are my favorite time of day now. And they didn't used to be my favorite time of day. Mornings were kind of like a rushed, stressful time back when we had a house and we had preschool and you know all the demands of regular life. Mornings were kind of stressful. We're in New Mexico in Rockhound State Park and we're arguing over whether it's the most beautiful place we've stayed so far. It's undeniably so beautiful, but it's really different from the state park in Huntsville that was also so beautiful. It's just, it's hard to compare. It's like apples and oranges. So both of those places are top of the list for best places we've stayed. And they are both state parks. When we first got started, it was just KOA after KOA after KOA because that's where I felt comfortable learning how to camp with a family. And then we dabbled in state park and then we dabbled in private campground. And then once we stayed in a Walmart, something in me just kind of clicked and opened up and I realized, wow, we, that's what this is. This is a vessel for us to stay anywhere. And we should be going way up into these state parks, way down into these national forests. We should get as close to nature as we can while we're still in this Airstream, because maybe someday we'll be in a bigger rig or something else, we, we don't know. The special part about the Airstream is it's small, relatively small size to be able to get you into interesting places.
State Park. Now cut and we're making our way west. Whoa. At about an hour or two a day until Thanksgiving. And then we'll be at Grandma and Grandpa's house for Thanksgiving. We came to a Kiowa so we could have, well, really, because there's not much around here, but also so we could do laundry and have sewer. I want to take a long hot shower. And it was predictable. We knew we were only going to spend one night. So we thought we would just know what we were getting. And there was, oh, and because there was no Walmart here. If there was a Walmart here, we might have just spent the night in a Walmart parking lot. What's in here? Sausage? Prosciutto. Prosciutto. Yeah, it's just like sausage. What'd you make, Mama? I made prosciutto and mozzarella tortellini. And we have arugula and cherry tomatoes. And some olive oil and some tomato sauce. Fancy food. Yeah. I just opened a bag and dumped, some, dumped it in some water. What are we having for dinner, Maple? Uh, pasta. Pasta? Ravioli. Ravioli? Where's the airstream? Uh, right here. Where's the sky? Uh, right here. Where's the moon? Uh, where, where is it? And here's your book. Oh, that matches oh, Linden. I have a question. What is it? Why is it so pretty here? I don't know. What lives in the desert? Cactus, silly poop, cactus, silly poop. What animals live in the desert? Give you a clue. Uh, uh, a spider. Yeah, spider too. Spider. Spiders and rattlesnakes and coyotes. A spider. I've never seen a coyote. Yeah, maybe we'll see one. Tiger. A tiger? Hopefully, no tigers live here. Tigers. They do.